Hello my dear angels. I'm your grandma Lydia again. Today let's embark a story about the quilt which was prepared by grandma for the village after facing a severe storm. Come let's jump into the story without late. Once upon a time in a small village nestled among the rolling hills, there lived a wise and kind-hearted grandmother named Eliza. Grandma Eliza was known throughout the village for her extraordinary quilting skills. She would spend hours carefully stitching together scraps of fabric, creating beautiful and intricate quilts that were cherished by all who owned them. One day, a terrible storm swept through the village, leaving many of the villages without shelter. As winter approached, Grandma Eliza knew she had to do something to help her neighbors stay warm. So, she gathered all the fabric scraps she could find and began to work on a special quilt. With each stitch, Grandma Eliza poured her love and compassion into the quilt, infusing it with a bit of magic. When she finished, the quilt shimmered with an otherworldly glow, radiating warmth and comfort. As the villagers huddled together under the quilt, they felt a sense of peace wash over them. Despite the cold winds howling outside, they were safe and cozy beneath Grandma Eliza's creation. Word of the magic quilt spread far and wide, and soon people from neighboring villages came to Grandma Eliza seeking refuge from the cold. Moved by her generosity, they asked her how she had created such a miraculous quilt. Grandma Eliza smiled warmly and quoted the verse from Matthew, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. She explained that she believed in serving others as a way of serving God, and that by helping her neighbors in need, she was fulfilling the law of Christ. Inspired by Grandma Eliza's example, the villagers began to come together, supporting and caring for one another in their time of need. And as they did, they discovered that the magic of Grandma Eliza's quilt was not just in its stitches, but in the love and compassion that bound them all together as a community. So, kids you two always support the people around your village or town by showing love and compassion to one another. This is your grandma Ludia signing off for now. I'll meet you with one more amazing tale. Till then take care. Bye bye my lovely angels.